I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hey everybody, welcome back. Oh, hello, I'm a Skulltull. <laughs> My friends call me Scully. You want to fuck? Like you from X Files. You want to talk to me? I think we should talk a little bit. Let's talk. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh. Can I not? You so betrayed me. Oh, she, 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 you portrayed me on my biopic. <laughs> <laughs> turn around, turn around, baby. Turn around. Oh, dude. Oh, you got fucked. I saw angry teeth there for a second. Oh, yeah, he's got a little... Oh, that's a little creepy. Well, he's not like a... He's an actual spider. Oh. Like, those aren't his eyes. He's just wearing a skull? Yeah. Interesting. I love this fucking guy. He's like... Don't oh, mind me, dude. I'm 2D. I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the eye of truth. That's what they're saying. All right, Navi. Yeah. But, uh, what if they were saying like, "Bring me a sandwich." Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> ham and cheese. Just put it right into my rib cage. Delish. Yeah. Slide it between my ribs. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Have you ever seen that Pirates of the Caribbean ride? Uh, where the skull is drinking the. Whoa, the this wine. is weird. Oh, yeah. It reminds me of the Perry Bible Fellowship, uh, cartoon where the surgeon, like, he's doing work on a kid, and he's got the kid open and he slides a candy cane <laughs> in there, and, and yeah, and he's like, shh, to the kid, and the kid's like, neat, yum! <laughs> so fucking funny. Uh, that guy's fucking hilarious. Is he still making comics? Uh, Nicholas Gurwitz is yeah. his name, I think? Is I can't that? remember his name. Something close to that. Uh, I don't know. I think so. But, uh, in case he watches the show, Dude, uh, Perry Bible Fellowship is one of the funniest comics I've ever uh, read. Honestly, I have to agree. Yeah, you are awesome, sir. I think- I think most comic writers look up to that guy. As they should, because, my god, and he can do so many different, like, art styles and yeah. stuff. It's remarkable. Wait, what the fuck do you want, Navi? Jesus. Ugh. What the hell is this green shit you're going on about? Yeah. God, what? Turning green shit? What the fuck are you? Does that me? indicate she's trying to tell you something? What are you, full of envy? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you nailed it. Do you get it? Nope. Please explain it to All right. me. I'll, I'll explain it. Is that a redead? Yep. Boy, they're really creepy. Yeah, he's a little upsetting. Just the way they hang out. Oh, God, and these arms. This is a dark Zelda game. Yeah. Like, I mean, maybe they were always this dark and they just didn't have the graphics to pull them up, pull it off. But, like, th this feels creepier than the other ones, for sure. Um, yeah, it's like the ambience and, like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, it, it, I think it's also just, like, sort of the, uh, in a 3D world, you're a little more, like, there. Right. You know what I mean? There's, Ooh. there's, there's a better sense of, like, realistic space. Yeah. Um, so, there was, like, skulls and fucking... Acid pools and uh, Link to the Past. Right. But like, you didn't really get a sense of being there, or like, yeah, a that's greater true. sense of 3D space. So it felt a little more cartoony, I guess. This map kind of looks like you're looking at the, like, from beneath a guy falling. Damn it. Never mind. What? It looks like you're beneath- oh. Yeah, like, the- the two farthest ones are his arms, the front two are his legs, and you're just looking up at his butt, and he's like, Whoa! <laughs> I'm an anti-gravity! I kind of thought it was like a hand that was like pushing down, like a decrepit old hand. But yeah, there are a lot of different ways you could look at it. Yeah. Like a really shitty looking hand turkey. <laughs> I like to think it's like- it's like a- <laughs> the two ones in the middle uh -huh. are like- like the mouth of like a monster, mm -hmm. and then he has like a tail that's sticking straight up, and then underneath he's like shaking his fist at yeah, like he's, kids. He's just got one leg. He's like, "Damn it! Come this, on, kids! Damn this one leg! Why you got? How am I supposed to get anywhere? You Did you not want to go up that ladder? Um, there's just more stuff down here. Okay. I just thought, you know, why not come down here and fucking blow up some builders? Yeah, builders. make it happen. I hear some builders. Boy, that um, that adult wallet is really nice to have. It's really nice not to, like, be tapped out after a hundred rupees. Oh, yeah, definitely. But, I mean, there's a bigger wallet I can get after this, like the Giant's wallet or whatever. Holy crap. Yeah, dude, I can carry so much fucking money. And then I can buy everything, dude. I can buy everything. Yeah. Earthang. Earthang? 
if we can just chat for a sec, what would you buy with a zillion billion dollars? Me? Yeah. Personally? Yeah. <sighs> Boy, I don't know. That's a really good question. If I had, like, super unlimited money, and we're not talking about, like, donating to charity and stuff like that, right? No, 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 no. Just, like, toys? Like, yes. your ultimate- I might- What's- well, it's hard to do, just because, like, there's so few and they rarely become available, but I'd love to buy, like, a sports team. Oh, cool. Yeah, like, if I could buy, like, a- if I could buy the Giants, and just, like, own the Giants and be like, yeah! Now so I'm gonna get all the hate mail that John Mara gets. What is the implication of owning a team? Is it like an investment in that team? Oh my god, yeah. Like, you own the- you actually own the team. The- like... To use the Giants as an example, uh, Tim Mara, uh, a businessman, bought them in 1925 for, I think, 500 bucks, and now the team's worth 2.6 billion dollars. Wow. Yeah, so, decent investment. Huh. Yeah. So it's literally just like, I guess that makes sense because it's not like a subsidized thing or anything. No, they, 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 all the teams collectively bargain an agreement where like they share revenue and like merchandise and it just, as the sport grows and popularity grows and there are more fans, they all share it. And then they, ooh, I look like a Master Chief helmet in walnut form. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, it's like, they're absurdly rich, those guys. Huh. Yo, yeah. How do you know where you're going? Uh, you- you don't really. Okay. You sort of get like a- you sort of gotta figure it out, you know? Fair enough. Um, what- what would you buy? What would be your ultimate toy? Uh... Oh man, that's a good question. I would buy a really nice house in Japan. Right. I think. Yeah, I guess so. I- I, th I thought we were gonna avoid, like, ho houses and travel, because, like, that's what it would always be. Oh, okay. Um, if we're avoiding that, then, then... Fuck. Oh, man, that's tough now. Yeah, it's just, like, a crazy-ass thing. Like... Uh, you know, I- I would buy, like, the world's best arcade. Oh, yeah. I would just, like, deck oh, it the yes. fuck out, you know, it- it wouldn't make- it probably- I mean, I'd do my best to make it make a profit or something, mm -hmm. but, like... It probably wouldn't, because arcades don't make money. Whoa! But I'd, I'd get like... I'd get like game designers and shit to come in and like make games specifically for my arcade. Holy you know? shit! And they'd be like live games, they wouldn't be like uh... You know, it's like you go and you just fucking Pac-Man, Arctic Thunder. I would have like an arcade where it's like, that's the only place you can go to play these games, like physical games where like you actually... Like, have to fucking interact with props and shit. And, I'm like, super down to clown. Yeah. That would be awesome. Um, I would- I would want to do that, for sure. Just have this like, giant fucking arcade compound. Maybe the world's biggest cell collection, too. Cell- oh, oh, shit. You know what? That would be awesome. If I could, like, if I could buy up all the cells in the world of the last unicorn and frame them in order in my giant house. <laughs> and so, like, if you, like, get on a bicycle and look to the side and ride past, you could watch the movie. <laughs> that would be the fucking coolest. That's, uh... That's not how it works. Of course not. <laughs> but you could actually do that. What do you mean? It's called a zoetrope. Have you heard of that? No. So, um, you can do that. You might have seen it, like, as a kid or something. You ever seen, like, um, it's like a, c it's like a circle, right? And it's on a little platform, and it spins. And then you put frames inside of it. Oh, yeah. And then the outside of it has little slits. I have seen And this. if you spin it, if you look in the slits, you'll see it animate. That's crazy. That's called a zoetrope. It's like a circular flipbook, essentially. Yeah. But you could, you could do that um, With in, cells? in a physical space, yeah. Oh, man. So if you put cells on a wall, and then you had the little slits, and then you had something that, like, Automatically went by and you look to the right you, that it would actually work that way. Oh radness. Yeah So pretty cool, right? Totally cool Um, <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, every every cell. Let's do it. Let's be absurdly rich <laughs> It'll never happen, but like ha have you seen like what people who have you know more money than God do? Uh, I know Nicolas Cage has crazy weird collections. Yeah, there's that guy um there's that, uh, oil, uh, guy from Saudi Arabia. I, th I think it's Saudi Arabia. One- one of those, um, one of those guys who was, like, born into an enormous family fortune with oil. Uh, he had his name, like, 
carved into the earth so you can see it from space. What? Oh yeah, oh yeah, hold on. This is worth showing you before this episode ends. Um, let's see. That's crazy. Rich guy name from space. <laughs> so he just he just had his name like laser carved into the earth or yes, something? Yes, it's enormous. Yeah. Like, like fucking Chairface Chippendale from The Tick? Hamad. Man's name in sand visible from space. Bin Hamdan Al Ayan, a super rich Arab sheik who's the president of the oil rich blah 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 blah. But this is what it looks like. Kevin, put this up. Check this out. Whoa! Isn't that fucking crazy? Holy That's crap. from space! That's nuts, dude! Yeah, that guy does not give a fuck. Like, he gives a fuck about him. He sure does. How do I get over there? Oh my god, the balls on that guy. Oh, I gotta unlock this door. That's really funny. A fucking key. I wish they'd misspelled it. <laughs> well, that's what- did, did you- did you know that Like, joke they put too the... much space and they're like, what's ham ad? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> do you- do you know that gag from, uh, The Tick? No. There's a villain called Chairface Chippendale. Chairface- And he was- Oh yeah, he's- he's got a chair for him. Yeah, his, his entire head's just a chair. Yeah. Um... But he- his whole, like, evil scheme was that he- uh, invented a laser that could carve his name into the moon. And then, so he started doing it, and then the, he ended up getting stopped in the middle. Mm -hmm. So throughout the rest of the entire series, uh, the moon just says Cha in the background. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Um, that actually reminds me of a Perry Bible Fellowship thing. I can't... I can't remember. Um... Exactly the joke, but the aliens carve it into the moon, but they misspell it so it says like the earth socks or something like that. <laughs> I love it. It says something here. Danger above. That's what it says. Thanks, Navi. You could have just a really roundabout way of saying that. But the point is, it's time for next time on Game Rooms. Next time on Game Rooms? Oh shit. Next time on Game Rooms? Nope. Hey Aaron. Yep. I like you, bro. I like you too, man. That's why I chose to do the show with you. Yes.